Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. And tonight, we've got the Los Angeles Lakers playing against the Houston Rockets here in Toyota Center. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And giving us the rundown from the sideline, David Aldridge. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now, these the new power rankings. They tell a great story. Let's take a look at the Celtics. They're playing really well, moving up now to the top spot in our rankings. And when I look at Houston, they're obviously trending in a positive direction, but still working out some of those early season timing issues. But I have to say, I like what I'm seeing. And now the Lakers starting group. The wing pairing, Reeves with LeBron. Davis is out there with Wood, and it's Russell in at the point. And for the Rockets, the guard spots are Van Vliet and Green. The pairing up front, Smith in Shengun. And it's Thompson in at the three slot. And Greg on paper, this looks like a real mismatch. These teams have very different expectations. And in any matchup like this, the early stages are important. The team coming in as a big underdog has to keep it close. Otherwise, things can go south in a hurry. Now LeBron, after Jalen Green's three-pointer that didn't go. Back to LeBron. Lakers passing it around. Reeves the pass to James. Outside, Russell from deep. And he's good on the three ball. LeBron doing what he does best, creating four and elevating others. Van Vliet against Russell. Here's Shengun. Really played well against Sacramento in his last outing. And the wide open shot from Green. Sinks the three-pointer. Of course, a volume three-point shooter like Green has an answer. He was ready to strike back in a hurry. About one minute into the first quarter. Outside, Russell. Here's Reeves, headed by Green. And Davis gets it to go. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now, here's Green. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Thompson sets the pick for Green. Van Vliet outside. No good from outside. Los Angeles has gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Wood kicks to James. Plenty of space. Again, Los Angeles. I guess the defense was not expecting the quick release. LeBron can get it up and down in a hurry, though. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Van Vliet against Russell. Van Vliet passes to Smith, and they pick up two. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. game for the Lakers. They picked up the W against the Heat. Outside, Russell. Smith against Davis. Wow, drew the contact in that three. Almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. Shabari Smith picks one up. You know Clark, when he's 100%, Anthony Davis, one of the premier big men in the game. Hey, I would take that qualifier off of it, Kevin. How about just one of the best players Period. He can pick and pop. He can pick and roll. He can post up. He can do everything offensively and defensively. He's unique as a rim protector with the ability to defend on the perimeter, too. And he's good on the first of three. Greg, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship drought in L.A., just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in NBA history. he's good on the second so if you look at the rocket struggles uh, Clark over the last few seasons what stands out to you well I think it starts at the defensive end of the floor Kevin I mean a team is not going to make noise in the NBA if they don't defend consistently I'm sure improving on D is a focus this season 
and he makes all three. Part last season, the Lakers making major trades, shaking up the roster, reforming their team. Yeah, you know, Kevin, they had four players left from opening night. That was it. Three major trades bringing in new talent. And that makes it difficult to find cohesion. So give L.A. a lot of credit for making that playoff run. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And, guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Oh, great ball movement there. Rockets trail by nine. Van Vliet kicks to Shangoon. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. Thompson from long range. Rebounded by the Lakers. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Houston this season. Yeah, and they took care of business against this group last year, winning the season series. You're right. They're the better team. I mean, they, they expect to win this matchup. We'll see if they can take care of business tonight. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. And here's Russell following Jalen Green's three. Not a problem. That's your first miss of the game. Strong start. And played against Wood. And the foul called on Anthony Davis. That's his first foul. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. It's good. Here's James. He's got five. Outside, Russell. Outside, Davis. And the Lakers with another miss. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Rockets. Trailing by four. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. Well, it's easy to score when you're facing very little resistance. That's why their offense looks so good now. Well, I think it was a combination of things, quite honestly, but the defense didn't really offer them a challenge all night. I agree with that. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Looking at Los Angeles, they took the win in their last game against the Heat in Miami. Wood passes to Reeves. LeBron James on the way. Six to shoot. Davis with a screen on Thompson. With some arc. Rebound by Smith. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now here's Van Vliet. This came out, he had 14. On the wing, Thompson. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Los Angeles has gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. And Davis puts it in. Surprised the defense that time. They dared Davis to take that shot. And now they pay the price. Rockets trail by five. Now Van Vliet hasn't made one yet. Smith outside. And Davis sends it back. Expert timing by Davis on the block. Right when the ball was at his apex, he got it. Wood kicks to Davis. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's LeBron up and in from the low block. LeBron's got seven points in the game. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets.
While we have a chance, let's take a look at the teams that led the NBA in rebounding last season. The Rockets fourth. It was really an impressive campaign for their bigs. And, and honestly, I think the whole team did a great job of getting bodies on bodies and controlling that defensive backboard. Rockets trail by seven. Now here's Green. He also had a big impact in that win against the Kings. Smith sets the pick for Green. In the corner, Shangun with it. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Good read from Green there. Getting better at sensing when his teammates are wide open and need the ball. Lakers leading by four. Outside, Russell. Here's Reeves, headed by Green. Pass to LeBron. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Nine points in the game so far. You can tell LeBron values getting quality shots because he knows how much they're worth, and he's willing to fight for them. Van Vliet passes to Smith. Green with the ball. He's got 10. Now the pass to Shengu. Four on the clock. Here's Thompson. That one doesn't go. Great D that time from LeBron. Russell kicks to Wood. Passes it to Davis. Outside Russell. Pass to LeBron. The Rockets pull it in. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Russell with the bucket. You know, maybe he's not the fastest guy on the court, but quickness is more important than pure speed in basketball. Russell's handle and scoring instincts, though, are borderline elite. And here is Green. Screen by Smith. Green passes to Smith. Davis with some nice D. Lakers leading by eight. To the wing right side. Here's Reeves. Shangun covering. Wood can't hit. Rockets have gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. Up top, Shangun. On the wing, Green. Good on the triple. Green's got 13 points. Able to score from anywhere on the court. Green can hurt you in myriad ways. And his game is only growing. Now, here is Russell. They picked up 24 points in their last one against Miami. Has to Wood. The three. Shengun with the rebound. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for Houston. It's a five-point game. Van Vliet outside. Driving inside. Love the defense from James. When he's engaged and focused, he can block some shots, folks. It's good from long range. Time out, time out. He's got 12. And off to an incredible start here early from long range. Lighting it up from outside. Hard to keep up with this. Now a timeout called by Houston. Houston with a big group substitution here. Tari Eason's checked in for Jabari Smith. Brooks comes in for Thompson. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Green. And Aaron Holliday's subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. The Lakers also making some changes. Vanderbilt's checked in for Wood. Hachimura comes in for Austin Reeves. And Vincent subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. And so it's Houston with it. Trailing here by eight. 
Holiday looking for an opening. Shengun with the screen on Hachimura. Brooks the pass to Shengun. Can't connect from short range. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. A holiday after the bronze three-pointer that didn't go. Shengun passes to Bullock. Shengun kicks to Holiday. And it's Bullock in the corner. Five on the clock. The Rockets with another miss. There's some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. James in a wide open look for Hachimura. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Rockets trail by eight. And last season, Greg, the Rockets tied for the league's second worst record. They expect a different outcome this go around. Yeah, their veteran additions headlined by Fred Van Vliet. Key to turning the tide, but also continued progression by their youngsters. It is still early in the season, Greg. We'd, we'd like to think we have teams figured out, but, but do we really? Not at all, Kevin. This is the time period where fan bases freak out because of records. It's still a lot of identity to be found with every team. No good on that one. We know Greg L.A.'s challenge recently has been finding the right supporting cast for their stars. And they're looking for that perfect fit. And sometimes that's all it takes, you know. It's finding those perfect one or two other guys to get you there. Hayes, he's checked in for the Lakers. And the second free throw, good. Clark, we know they're a young team with plenty of room for improvement. What's the most important things you think for these Rockets to do? Well, first and foremost, they've really struggled with turnovers. They've got to squeeze the orange. I mean, it's hard to win if you're turning the ball over. I think it's a matter of being organized at the offensive end. LeBron passes to Vanderbilt. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Here's Bullock. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Here's Vincent, guarded by Holiday. On the pass to Vanderbilt. Hachimura down low. Brooks covering, and it's Hayes in the corner. From outside, off the mark. It's trailed by five. Holiday with the three. Unable to get that one. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Hachimura with a screen on Holiday. Vanderbilt finds Hachimura. Over Brooks. Hachimura no good. Defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. Brooks outside. The kick out to Holiday. Fires from way outside. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Lakers. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points right back after this break. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. 
and taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here. What have they been doing or not doing? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. Well, the player and ball movement has been excellent. Finding space, operating in space, and when they've gotten open shots, they've knocked them down. Lakers leading by five. We've got Green. Dylan Brooks out there with Tari Eason. Then there's Reggie Bullock, and it's Green in at the point. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. Now here's Green. Rebound the Lakers. LeBron's got rebound number five here tonight. Over in the corner, Vincent. No good on the triple. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Houston. Following this one, they get to host the Pelicans. Brooks against Hachimura. Now here's Brooks. He's covered closely for three. Bullock drills it from outside. Bullock's got five points so far. And just no excuse, guys, for leaving a shooter like him open beyond the arc. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks very much. The Rockets have brought in Ime Adoka to help their team become a winner. Ime said, we have a lot of guys that have a chip on their shoulder. Those are the types I look for. And from there, we want to cultivate that into team success. That's the job of a coach, to push that and get that out of them. Kevin? It is. Good thought. All right, David, thank you. And it's Bullock missing. Lakers leading by four. LeBron playing like a big man inside. Hey, I really like what I'm seeing from LeBron here tonight, keeping it simple. He's going to the hot hand, which is him. That's pretty good. Now, here's Bullock, covered by LeBron. Green, the pass to Brooks. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Greg, you've heard people say it's a make or miss league. Does that hold true? It seems so, right? Shooting percentages correlate more with winning than possession stats, like turnovers or offensive rebounds. It's clear shot making has never been more valuable, but the ability to disrupt rhythm still plays a big role. The first one falls. In court for years, the Lakers have been the premier destination for free agents. Think that's still the case now? I do. I mean, it's still Los Angeles. The history of the Lakers is one of the premier franchises in the league along with the Celtics. So I think cap room is the driver, though. That's always the great equalizer in this day and age. And I think that helps keep some of the small market teams in the game as well. And both free throws good for Brooks. And there's a flexibility to Brooks's game. He can play a specific role for you, or he can be a high usage guy. Really depends on what a team needs from night to night. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. And now a moment to see the stats for Jalen Green. He had a strong showing last season. He put up about 22 points a game. Three assists and three rebounds. And you talk about guys who just have a nose for putting up points. He is one of them. Yeah, he sure is. And he rarely has back-to-back -back bad games. If he has an off night, he usually follows that up with a big night. Los Angeles leading by four. And Reggie Bullock gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And the Lakers have possession. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. LeBron's shot is good. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pay. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Outside, green. 
Back to Green. Six on the shot clock. Green with a screen for Green. And it's Green slamming it down. Some of these dunks he throws down are absolutely absurd. What an athlete Green is. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Here's Vincent, headed by Green. Hachimura, the screen. Over Brooks. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Jeff Green picks one up. And when Hachimura is looking to score, it sometimes forces the D to get aggressive. Love the energy. And the first one at the line is good. Kachimura heads them both. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Brooks kicks to Green. Outside, Green. Vanderbilt with the block! A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Passes to Easton. Back to Green. From 12 feet out. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. You know, with his quickness, he's already good at creating separation for his shot. And we know he doesn't need much room to get his shot off either. Now, here's James. 24-point outing in their last game against the Heat in Miami. And then there was his passing. When he wasn't scoring on his own, he was making plays for his teammates, and they just couldn't figure out how to defend him. Brooks against Hachimura. Green kicks to Bullock. Here's the three. Score of the basket is third after five shots. After having none in the first, he gets two three-point shots to go here. L.A.'s gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Uh, something I like about Jalen Green, that, that ability to go vertical and just adjust mid-air. We call that great body control, partner, and you've seen guys over your time around the league where that's a special gift, and it really can make it hard for defenders. Green is excellent using that body and athleticism. Now Green after LeBron's three-pointer that didn't go. And it's Green with the jam. Green just levitates to the rack. A 40-inch plus vertical will allow you to do that. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of eight from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Pass to Vanderbilt. A fadeaway. And again, no good by the Lakers. Houston in the lead. Greg, everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. They kick it out to Green. Oh, good with the triple. You know, he's not a knockdown shooter from there, but when you're that uncovered, you almost are forced to take it. And that one, good. Vincent's got his first two points of the night. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Easton with a screen for Green. Pass to Easton. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks 
on the road, but they found ways to get their guys good looks. And it was funny, the road arena didn't bother them at all. I mean, they locked in, focused, and executed and got it done. Here's Eason. Nothing on the board. Count it. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. The Lakers trail. And Reggie Bullock gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Houston with a big group substitution here. Shengun's checked in for Green. Smith comes in for Jari Eason. Thompson, he's checked in for Brooks. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Reggie Bullock. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Wood, he's checked in for Jackson Hayes. Davis comes in for Vanderbilt. Austin Reeves is checked in for Hachimura. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Gabe Vincent. Now here's LeBron. He's got 18. Four on the shot clock. Let's it fly. Almost, but it rolls out. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. And Vliet on the wing. He's guarded by Russell. Here's Thompson. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. Well, not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Lakers trail by three. The pass to Reeves. Green by James. Reeves the pass to Davis. Over in the corner, Wood. And that one falls, coming off of Davis's feed. Wood's got it all tied up now for the Lakers. Yeah, Wood will take this shot as long as he feels like he has it locked in and dialed up. Houston's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. Smith sets the pick for Green. And it's Smith, top of the key. Time to find Shangoon. He gets it to him from six away. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Hey, for a big like Shangoon, you need that pump fake in your arsenal. And he's got his first free throw of the game. That free throw missing. What I like about Shangoon is how versatile he is. I mean, especially as a passer. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for the Rockets. The Lakers also with a sub. Hachimura is checked in. He hits the second from the line. Los Angeles has gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Nine feet out, and he knocks down the jumper. Reeves has got his first bucket of the night. Now a timeout called by Houston. The Rockets making a switch here. Brooks checked in. And they were in the top half of the league in steals as well. They got a few ball hawks out there that can cause problems for the opponent. Greg, as you said, they were top of the league in second chance points. They had a strong presence inside at both ends of the floor. For Houston, they've gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter. Up over 50%. Smith with a screen on Hachimura. Thompson right side. Here's Russell with the three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. 
Now it's a four-point Laker lead. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Now here's Thompson. 11 points for him in that last game against Sacramento. Van Vliet finds Thompson. And Davis pulls it down. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Well, you can't be forcing a shot like that. you got to keep the ball moving. Get something better. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. Hey, we know every basket's a big one in a tight game, and he is not about to give up an easy look. Thompson against Russell. Davis with a screen on Thompson. Russell from long range. No good. That's miss number two against three makes from the field. Here's Thompson, and it's Thompson with the jam. He's got rocket ship-like takeoff. Thompson can flat out fly. Russell looking it over. Davis against Smith. Davis down low. A 14-point game for him in the win against the Heat in Miami. And, of course, you, you cannot forget just how dominant his shot clocking was in that game. Just changed the entire complexion of that game. And that one, good. Thompson's got the game tied up here for Houston. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. So it's the Lakers now following the score by Houston. Russell passes to Davis. And finished off by Anthony Davis. It's clear that Davis loves to put on the show for the fans, and putting on the show is exactly what he's doing. And so it's Houston with it. Brooks outside. Out to Smith. Three-pointer. That drops and it comes off an assist from Brooks. Smith's got his second bucket of the night. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Russell passes to Davis. Over Smith. And another basket for the Lakers. Well, I tell you what, Davis is at his best around the basket, but the mid-range shot is a big part of his game, too. Brooks feeling it out a bit. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. And a chance now to look at the schedule for Houston. On Friday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. And then on Sunday... They'll face off against DeAndre Jordan and the Denver Nuggets. The Lakers in the lead. The drive by Russell and the rejection by Smith. You can tell Smith really relishes being a force on defense. Blocks like that will help him anchor himself at that end of the floor. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Lakers. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Houston's gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. Brooks outside. Smith sets the pick for Brooks. Smith on the wing. Launches it. Rebounded by the Lakers. Following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Suns at Footprint Center in Phoenix. And that will conclude a four-game road trip. Traps in the tray. Boy, the former second overall pick has really worked on his passing. That was an outstanding find by Russell. Van Vliet against Wood. Out to Smith. Takes the three. Christian Wood grabs the rebound. Los Angeles leading by four. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Passes it to Davis. Davis finishing it off. Watching Davis do work like this 
is special. The Rockets shooting 53% in the second quarter. Good ball movement yielding. Good looks. Van Vliet outside over Russell. They can't stop the run with that one. And so it's Los Angeles with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a central part of their offense. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot. LeBron, are you getting the ball where you want to get it? And is that helping you score? Um, I'm very pleased with my individual performance right now, but uh, you know, not so pleased with it. You know how I'm trying to you know help our teammates you know I'm, I got to do a better job of trying to get our teammates in the flow as well as keep myself in a good group too so um, hopefully I can do a better job of that in the second half. We'll see how it goes thanks LeBron back to you Kevin. Thank you David for that interview and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Welcome to halftime, everybody. It's been a bit of a challenge so far for the Houston Rockets. We were just in the green room watching this game. What was your highlight of the first half? I really like those wings. Oh, you talking about the game or the wings? We anyway, I like the wings we had in the back. Yeah, Kenny. I like the hummus. The Kenny. hummus was pretty that good. That sauce was on point. Oh, yes, it was. You know, I actually was talking about the game. Uh, why has it always got to be about food with you two? And now let's talk about this one. Man, what a great start for the Los Angeles Lakers. You really like how they're dictating the pace. At least I do. Running at every opportunity, getting easy buckets. Looks like this team is full of young <laughs> Kenny Smiths out there. <laughs> I see why you laughed. Hard to disagree, though. Their speed has been the difference. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Well, guys, what can you say? Jalen Green, an impressive effort here today. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, you know, the stroke looks fantastic. Even when he's had a hand in his face, it hasn't affected him at all. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Taking a look at Los Angeles. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. Up and forward, the star pairing of LeBron and Davis. 
And it's Wood in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Rockets trail by eight. And one thing you respect about Russell, his ability to get the rock in the hoop. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he puts, he puts points on the board in bunches. No matter what uniform he's wearing, this guy is a legitimate lethal scorer. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Guys, it's always good to see a young player start to mature in front of our eyes, and Russell has been that kind of guy. He's done a great job figuring out how to become a better leader. Los Angeles leading by nine. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Oldham. David. Thanks very much. LeBron James still has a singular focus. He says, I'm a winner and I want to win. Competing for championships has been my goal since I entered the league. Once you know how to get there, playing basketball at this level, just to be playing basketball, is not in my DNA anymore. Kevin, he certainly has that special sauce. He is letting it be known in championship medal to boot. David, thank you. He's automatic at the rim with that size and wingspan. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Green deciding where to go with it. Thompson outside. Fires from deep. Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got rebound number five here tonight. He kicks it to LeBron. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And it's blocked. Lots of athleticism for the long center. Shingun getting it done. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. Reads the play well there and gets himself in the air at just the right time. Terrific denial. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Five to shoot. Reeves gets the bucket. Reeves has got the lead up to 14 now for the Lakers. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on it. Now, here's Green. He's got 19. And he drives in. Here's Shengu. The Rockets with another miss. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. And the call will be against Jabari Smith. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, that's a tough call right there, and really a tough break for the D. No problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. Now here's Davis. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And you know, Clark, it, it wasn't an easy first few years in the league for Christian Wood. You know, sometimes the hard road is the more productive road for some guys. You know, he played for five different teams in his first four seasons, Greg. But in his fifth year, he found his groove. And sometimes it takes a little longer for the big guys to find their way. No good on the second free throw. Really hard not to appreciate a steady big guy like Christian Wood. I mean, he knows his role out on the floor, doesn't try to do things he can't, and really gives it his complete effort and focus. I love that. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Pass to LeBron. Here's Wood. Pass to Reeves. The kick out to LeBron. And again, the Lakers, no good. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for Houston. A 12-point game. Davis against Van Vliet. Out to Smith from downtown. And Davis pulls it down. You know, he's been off tonight, off his game. At this point, he might want to focus on creating for others. James finds Russell. Now Davis. Shangun covering. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. 
A moment to check out the numbers for Fred Van Vliet. Last season, he played outstanding. Third in steals, and his passing skills were on full display all year. He ranked among the top 15 in assists. And he sported some of the quickest hands in the league last year, putting him top three in steals. He was consistently all over the basketball. Now here's Green. 21 points in the game. Shot is good in the Los Angeles leads. Get down to nine in the bucket from Smith. Love the confident approach by Smith Jr. Looked very decisive there. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. LeBron passes to Wood. It's Davis on the wing. In the corner, it's James. Fader on the way. Los Angeles with another miss. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Here's Green. And it's Green slamming it down. Really good body control by Green. He's able to adjust off the contact and do so at a really high level. Hey, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Lakers? Well, I think they've been lethal from beyond the arc this game, no doubt about it. Hard to defend such spot-on shooting. And the other thing you notice is how committed they've been to playing with the pass, constantly moving that ball from one side to the other. That's good from Green. Well, Jalen Green is a product of G League Ignite and clearly showing other folks there's a new path for potential lottery picks to take. Here's Reeves. He's got eight. Here's Wood. And there's the pass to James. Davis down low. He's against Smith. They could use a bucket. And it's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession here. While there's a break in the action, let's take a look at the players who had the most steals in the league last season. In the third spot, Fred Van Vliet. He showed such tremendous defensive instincts. Trust me, nobody wanted him guarding them last year. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. And it's Russell missing. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Van Vliet, Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Davis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Oof, this has been brutal. I mean, he still hasn't made a single shot. No wonder they're struggling. One shot. Lakers leading by seven. Yo, oh, Al Russell. Green, green. Nine points in the game so far. Kicks it to Davis. James outside. Wood a screen on Thompson. And again, the Lakers no good. For Houston, they've gone a lackluster three of nine from the field since halftime. Pass to Shengu. Dishes to Green. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. The Rockets again can't hit. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. It's Davis on the wing. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got his seventh assist here tonight. Just make sure you keep getting him touches. I mean, you love what he's doing at the offensive end. Don't go away from it. Rockets trail by nine. Van Vliet finds Green. Out to Thompson. There's the triple. Nailed from three-point land. Thompson's got nine points. Defensively, you have to live with Thompson making those because if you get up too close at the arc, Amon will blow right by you. LeBron outside. Launches a three. Ah, LeBron with 
get that triple. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. Now a timeout called by Houston. Dylan Brooks, he's checked in for Thompson. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Gabe Vincent, he's checked in for Austin Reed. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Houston Rockets. They trail by nine points. Smith sets the pick for Van Vliet. Pass to Smith. Back to Van Vliet. The Rockets with another miss. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Down low, here's Wood. And finished off by Wood. Boy, I tell you what, on the jam, Wood can just be ruthless. Won't let anybody stop him when he's going to the cup. Van Vliet deciding where to go with it. Shangoon kicks to Green. Rebound the Lakers. Wood's got seven rebounds in the game. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Davis on the follow. And the Lakers lead by 13. What determination on the boards. His work ethic really standing out right there. Well done by Davis. Now, here's Shangu. Rocket six. Will it go? Lakers with the rebound. James has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Here's Vincent. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Van Vliet with it. He's picked up by Russell. And it's sent back by Russell. Well, I tell you what, his teammates love seeing this. So do I. I mean, when Russell is able to block a shot, that's a big bonus. He's got free throw attempts number four and five here. And a look back at his numbers from the free throw line last year. 78%, so not too bad. And one of the big changes to college basketball, Clark, as you know, the NIL, name, image, and likeness. It, it seems like that would impact the choice to enter the NBA draft. I don't think there's any question it's had that impact. Some guys that were borderline draft picks now not being penalized for being on scholarship can monetize their name, image, and likeness and do so to the tune of some fairly significant dollars in some cases. And even if the money is not NBA large, it still could close the gap for a family of a player that might be struggling and could use some additional income. Vanderbilt's checked in for the Lakers. Hachimura comes in for LeBron. And the free throw, no good. Lakers leading by 13. Davis, the pass to Russell. Back to Davis. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Here's Hachimura. And off the glass. That one's good. Rocket shooting 31% here in the third. Offensively, they are looking bleak. Outside, Green. Brooks, outside. Back to Green. The Lakers with the rebound. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. Tari Eason's checked in for Houston. Reggie Bullock comes in for Green. Los Angeles has gone a less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Russell against Van Vliet. Here's Davis, and it's slammed in by Davis. Yes, sir. A.D. threw it down easily. Now here's Van Vliet. Still yet to score. 
Pass to Shengu. Now, here's Bullock. Defense right on him. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And Shengun is a hard player to get a handle on. Pretty unpredictable, which makes him hard to guard without fouling. Tate, he's checked in for Houston. Christie, he's checked in for the Lakers. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. Los Angeles leading by 17. Davis finds Vincent. Shot clock at six. There's the pass to Hachimura. Shoots over Bullock. Brooks grabs the board. And here's Brooks. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. Passes it to Tate. Here's Eason. Brooks outside. Fourth and fast break points. Sixth in scoring. And they were in the top ten in rebounding. That was one of the things that they hung their hat on. Never really let up energy-wise on the backboards. Greg, you brought up their fast break points. Their offensive system was all about tempo. Never taking a break. Wearing down the other team. And the Rockets making a change here. Holiday's checked in. Reddish, she's checked in for Los Angeles. And both free throws good for Brooks. So it's the Lakers now. Vincent with it. Pass to Reddish. From outside the arc. Eason grabs the board. And they've got time, Greg, to chip away at this lead. Yeah, still lots of time, but they have to play smart if they want to erase this deficit. Holiday gets the bucket. And you're asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. Kicks it to Davis. Pass to Hachimura. They get a hand on it. And stolen by Eason. Now, here's Bullock. Vanderbilt defending. 104 left to play in the third. Count it. Good. Eason's got his first points of the night. And with that height advantage right there, he had a good, clear look at the basket. Vincent, the pass to Reddish. Davis sets a screen. And again, no good by the Lakers. And here's Houston. Good momentum. Eight straight points. Out to Brooks. Back to Holiday. It's up a three. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Out to the right wing. Here's Hachimura. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got three assists in the game. Twenty-six seconds left in the third quarter. Brooks against Hachimura. And here's Bullock from the arc. Trains the three-pointer. Bullock's got 11 points. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Vincent, the pass to Vanderbilt. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And, you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Lakers lead by nine. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Toyota Center.
And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. It sure is. I mean, he's a maestro. Great vision, terrific IQ, everything you want in a point guard. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Rockets trail by nine. They've got Reggie Bullock. Tari Easton is out there with Brooks. And it's green, and it's green in its center. That's the five for Houston right now. Now, here's Green. And Green slams it in. And Green getting off the floor there for the dunk. Really like watching him sky up for those. James looking it over. Hachimura setting the pick for James. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. He's putting on a commanding performance here. He's hit two three-pointers in each half now. Outside, Green. They kick it out to Green. Now, here's Bullock. He's tightly guarded. Just four to shoot. Outside, Green. And it's off from three-point range. Lakers leading by ten. In the corner, it's James. Off target from three-point range. The Rockets shooting 43% from the field. Here's Green. Sinks that one from the post. Green's got 26. He has a great feel for scoring in the painted area. Nice play by Jalen Green. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. Here's Vincent. Here's Vanderbilt. To the left wing. Here's Hayes. And at last, they get one to fall. Hayes has got his first basket. They have banged the boards hard this half. Those second chance points are mounting up. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. And that one falls for Brooks. Here's Vincent. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Hachimura down low. Brooks covering. Kicks it out to LeBron. Knocks down the three ball. 27 points for him. He's showing no signs of letting up here. Rockets trail by 10. The pass to Green. Outside, Green. Plays it up off the glass. Green's got four this quarter. Green doing work inside. Feels like he can score on just about anybody. The Lakers have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. There's the feed to James. Shoots over Bullock. Again, Los Angeles. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Rockets have gone an outstanding four of five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. Bullock passes to Green. Outside, Green. Outside, Green. Just five on the clock for three. Bullock. And there's the call on James. That's foul number two for him. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for Reggie Bullock. And the Lakers also making a change. Russell's checked in. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Van Vliet kicks to Green. Back to Van Vliet. 
and it's Brooks in the corner. The three-pointer no good. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Now here's Van Vliet after LeBron James's miss. Van Vliet with it. He's picked up by Russell. The Rockets again can't hit. Los Angeles leading by 10. Three-pointer. Green with the rebound. I'm shocked that it didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. And the Lakers have possession. James, the pass to Vanderbilt. Back to James. Vanderbilt, a screen on Brooks. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. Boy, it's no secret that LeBron James is an outstanding passer. Boy, I love his vision in the pick and roll. Here's Van Vliet. And here is Green. Easton with a screen for Green. Passes to Easton. Six on the shot clock. And stolen by James. Unhindered, going all the way. And the passing instincts of James are just unreal. He has that great sense for when and where to send the ball. So it's the Rockets now. A 12-point game. Outside, Green. Pass to Eason. And the three off target. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Houston. Los Angeles leading by 13. Pass to LeBron. Green with the block. Green bounce pass. They break it out. Five on three. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the emphatic stuff. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. The pass to James. Fade away. Pass to Hachimura. Fires the three. A three-pointer is right on target. And the Lakers lead by 16. Just solid with the jump shot. Hachimura helps your offense in a number of ways. In that case, spacing the floor. Van Vliet passes to Green. Bullock with it. Working on James. Now Vincent. Over to the wing. Vanderbilt finds Russell. Vanderbilt, a screen on Van Vliet. The shot's good from Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt's got six here in this quarter. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Pretty clear. It's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. Now here's Green. And Green slams it in. And he gives that rim a good tug on the way down. That's how you drive your point home right there. He's lucky to get away with that, though, guys. I mean, it could have earned him a technical for hanging on too long. Timeout called the Lakers. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, LeBron James. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth 
the price of admission all by itself. Oh, oh yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. My goodness. Man, I like seeing LeBron throw it down, especially when he decides to do it with a little flavor. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. And Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul. That's foul number two for him. He won a decent amount of time before his first turnover there. It's really been a good, safe stretch of basketball from him to this point. LeBron against Thompson. James kicks to Russell. Davis, that's for two. Out to Russell. Pass to Davis. Back to Russell. Six to shoot. Pass to James. Fires for three. It's rebounded by Houston. Shingun's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Van Vliet passes to Shingun. Outside, Green. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Here's James. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. From mid-range, LeBron really dialed in. You can't think you're safe giving him those shots. Outside, Green. In the corner, it's Van Vliet. Back to Green. Davis against Smith. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Drains it from beyond the arc. They didn't get a chance to knock one down in the first. But the defense left him a look. And he nailed it. He'll make them pay when he's open. Los Angeles leading by 17. Here's LeBron. To the middle. Here's Davis. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. And now it's 27 points for Anthony Davis. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. And here's Green outside. It's hauled in by Wood. Wood's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And still looking for his first triple of the second half. He had three at halftime. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Thompson misses. Los Angeles has gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. And Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Finished off by Wood. Orchestrating the offense like a vet. D'Angelo getting everybody involved. Now a timeout called by Houston. Rockets trail by 21. Right side green. Here's Shengu. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. He's got a real nice feel for the game. Shingun's quick to make the most of an open look when it avails itself. Outside, Davis. Reeves the pass to Russell. Shoots over Van Vliet. And even three-on-three -three break. And Thompson kicks to Green. Now the pass to Shingu. It's hauled in by Wood. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Lakers. Stolen by Van Vliet. And here we go. Fast break. Van Vliet's got it. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Los Angeles leading by 19. From deep LeBron. Offensive rebound. Wood. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Boy, that is outstanding body control by Wood. This is a guy that's seven feet tall, showing you great focus and body control. And recently, the NBA Clark had names to major awards. It's a nice gesture, don't you think, from the league to the past legends? Yeah, I could not agree with you more. 
and really hard to argue with their choices for naming those awards after. It's a way to connect the past to the present and honor and pay homage to some of the greats in the history of the game. I like everything about it. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Winning in strong fashion. A relentless effort notches a W for the Lakers. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And so with this win, they'll move to six victories on the season. And in what should be an exciting four-game season series between these two teams, they have to feel great about taking this first one against the Rockets. And we watched them all night long. No one could really stop them. Just another excellent game it was for LeBron. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. And now the NBA's all-time leading scorer, Clark, LeBron did something most people thought would never be done. I'm in that camp, Greg. I tell you, Kareem was my guy. He was my idol as I was growing up. I never thought his record would be surpassed. It just shows you how remarkable LeBron has been in his production, in preparation, and taking care of his body and this guy is still going strong that makes him the king now here's Van Vliet defended by Vincent Shingu no good Vincent with it picked up by Van Vliet passes it to James now here's Vanderbilt Lakers passing it around. Thompson comes with the double team. Prince wide open. Misses the three. There's 21 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's Van Vliet. For three, Smith. And falls. Great assist by Van Vliet. Plays the four, but he can really shoot it from deep. And when he lets it fly, that shows you the confidence he has in that shot. Benson with it. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. Yeah, I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much. LeBron, in the fourth quarter, were you looking to be aggressive? Yeah, I just try to close the game out. You know, my teammates looked for me in the fourth quarter to close the game out with my scoring and just my playmaking ability. So, uh, you know, to be able to go out there and come through for it means a lot. I know they're used to it by now, but I know you're still happy with the win. Congrats. Back to you. All right, David, thanks so much. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, LeBron James.